What's up people, it's Akil, and in this video, I wanna share my story and my experience with selling this beautiful $1.8 million home in New Jersey. Look, if you clicked on this video, you're probably a real estate agent like myself, or you're looking to get into real estate. Either way, I hope this video provides the motivation or helpful tips that you're looking for in your own real estate journey. I love asking real estate agents where they gain their client, right? So when they're about to close on a sale, whether it's for buying or selling, I love asking them that question because the answer is always different. But no matter the answer, it's always gonna give you the motivation and the extensive knowledge that you need as a real estate agent to go out and promote yourself and seek out the same way to gain your own client. All right, so where do we start? This story goes back a full year, believe it or not. So there was a girl in high school, we'll call her Amy. And uh, so we never really spoke all that much, but I try to speak to everybody in high school. We were really good friends. Uh, because we knew each other's mutual friends. So I always showed her love, I always showed her hospitality, and vice versa. So Amy disappears from the face of the earth after high school graduation. In fact, she had to skip high school graduation to go get married to this person that nobody has ever heard of, right? So like, this girl was so sweet, we're always cool with her, and then all of a sudden she had to skip high school graduation because apparently, she had an arranged marriage with some dude who was a couple or a few years older than her. Uh, and then that's the only information that we got. Now, after high school, I haven't heard of her. I haven't spoken to her, none of that. So a year prior to today, I'm posting regularly on Instagram, right? I'm making my reels. I'm making like fun content. As a real estate agent, I'm posting like, guess the price for these houses, like getting people to interact on my Instagram. And then Amy messages me 10 years later, asking to see this beautiful home in New Jersey. I didn't think much of it. I said, yeah, sure, let's go. Let, you know, send me the address. I check out the home. It's a brand new construction and it was gonna set her back $2.5 million. Now I'm shocked, right? $2.5 million. I haven't talked to this girl in 10 years. Her and her husband now, husband, are looking to buy this home in New Jersey for $2.5 million. But the thing is, we're real estate agents, right? So we get this all the time. I go into the gym and I get five or six people that are always like, hey, Akil, you know, can you help me find a home? And I'm looking for $800,000. But they don't realize that after they run their credit, run their income, run their debts, all that stuff that they really probably, you know, can afford like 300,000. It's all part of the game as a realtor, right? So when she said 2.5, I was like, all right, fine. I'll show her the house just to see her in person, you know, build up that connection again. But then we'll get her to do the pre-approval and then we'll really see, you know, how much she can afford. And then I meet the husband, <laughs> right? We go to the house, I meet the husband and he is a doctor, you know, the highest level of a doctor. I don't want to say what type or anything like that. But I will say that $2.5 million is uh, not crazy for them. So we look at this home and she's not all that stoked about it, right? So I said, okay, no problem. Let's go look at some more homes. I show her three more homes. Uh, me as a real estate agent, it takes me only about three homes to figure out, you know, the style and, you know, what you're really into, your preference. And then from that point on, it's really just about sending those specific style homes so that you don't waste your time when you go drive to look at these homes with the client. So we look at this third home and then we hit a roadblock. So the doctor can't really make a decision on buying this home because he's about to join some like doctor's program. And you know, from that in about six to eight months, he'll be able to tell what his stable income is and he'll be able to approve for a higher and more expensive home. Okay, well, you know, that kind of sucks, right? You know, it, it sucks as a realtor to show all these houses and then the following happens. Uh, one, the client went with another realtor and bought a home. Uh, number two, the client actually can't afford any of these homes and is wasting your time. Or three, the client has to join some doctor's program and it's gonna take six to eight months. And what's worse is in those six to eight months, anything could happen, right? We know how this goes. A lot of clients will start like watching the news and then getting spooked out by the interest rates because they're reading it every day or they'll get wooed by another realtor or they just fall out of it. They get discouraged and they don't wanna buy a home anymore and they just wanna wait. And so I waited, right? I went and did my own thing. I sold a few homes in the meantime in that year and as soon as you think that you're about to forget about them, they return. Yes, they have finally returned. He's a part of the doctor's program, whatever the that is. And we're looking at homes. We're looking at $2 million homes, $3 million homes, $3.5 million homes. We're all over the place. All right, so here's where it gets interesting. So about four houses later, my client goes to this open house by herself and almost gets convinced by this realtor who we will name 
the devil. All right, so the devil tells my client that they should go with her because she's got the inside info, right? She's super cool with the seller's agent. She could get my client the cheapest price at the fastest time, you know, like, she knows what's cooking, right? Like, she's got the inside juice. We know that's bullshit, but my client is desperate for this home, so she almost fell for that and called me saying that she was thinking about going with the devil. Now, my fellow viewers, if this was me, all right, Akil, a few years ago, you know, scrawny, unsure of himself, not as confident, right? I would have called my client and been like, oh yeah, of course, you know, if she's got the inside juice, then she's probably right, you know, I just want you to be happy. But no, I am mean now, okay? I work out a little bit, I got some confidence, so I called her back and I was like, no, this is bullshit. She doesn't know anything. She ain't got no inside juice. All right, she's lying to you. She sold you on the emotion because she knows you want the home. I'm your friend. I know what's best for you, right? I've been your friend since high school. Sure, if you want to be happy, be happy. But you should go with me because that girl is just looking for a paycheck. And by the grace of Jesus himself, she believed me, all right? We ended up putting the offer with me. I put the offer, all right? And we won it. We put it, okay, we did put it uh, significantly higher than the asking price, but we did win the offer. But the process was smooth, we closed in about 30 to 45 days, and that commission check was sweet. <laughs> My story on gaining this particular client and closing on this beautiful $1.8 million home was because it was a high school friend. She could have gone with anybody else in these past 10 years, but she chose me, and I'm forever grateful for that. And you know what? After this whole story time, I, I do have a lesson for you guys. As an entrepreneur, whether you're selling anything Always talk to people, build relationships, and always show love to people because you never know who's gonna buy something from you in the near future or the far future. Seriously, those first and last impressions are a world of a difference when you're meeting people. That impression that I left in high school brought me a sale 10 years later. Anyways, that's my story on gaining this beautiful sale for this $1.8 million home in New Jersey. And yes, I'm a real estate agent, a full-time one, always looking for my next sale. And I'll always share it with you guys because whether you're starting out as a real estate agent or you're an established real estate agent, it's always fun to hear about how somebody gained a new client and the story and the hurdles that they went through to close on a sale. As always, make sure to hit the like button if you found this video informative or motivational or helpful in any way. Subscribe to the channel to show your support and hit the notification bell because I really try to post quality content for you guys. My name is Akio, you guys are the hustlers, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.